kid slams a hamburger against the window at some point. In anger? Frustration? He's worried about the Fratellis. Because the What's Frat that? The Fratellis are this local <laughs> mob squad of a mom and her two goon sons. I don't know what they're doing in Oregon. But they're part of the <laughs> Are they the Goonies too? Are they? No, no, they're not the Goonies. The Goonies are the kids. But you said that mom had two. goons. Goons and Goonies are two different things. What's a goon? A goon is like a, a hired thug. strong arm. Oh, okay. So they got the mom from Throw Your Mom from the Train. That was a great movie. <laughs> and she's trying to put the thumb on Northwest California or wherever they are. I don't know. So the fat kid slams a hamburger. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything. But they're scared. <laughs> the point is, the entryway... They're scared. The entryway to the map to get to the treasure is through the Fratelli's bar or restaurant or something. I don't know. I haven't seen it in like three weeks. But... <laughs> They have to go through the fireplace. Why is it in the fireplace? I never understood that. But they have to like, why is there a basement fireplace? I will never know. But I'm not an 80s telescreen writer. So these kids, they, they goon together. And they want to go for this treasure to save who's half? The Rudy's. Uh, Samwise Sam Ganji. Yeah, Mikey's half. Yeah. <laughs> and Mikey has an older brother who is Academy Award Josh Brolin. Nominee? I don't think he won. I don't know. Yeah, but it is Josh Brolin. For what movie was that? Departed? No. No. The, the one the, the about George Bush, too. The oh, There Will Be Blood. Yeah. No, the other one. Or, <laughs> You're way off. Fucking what? Blood, not, not, yeah. I don't see that already. It's a Cormac McCarthy. Either way, yeah, he's back. And that guy's so overrated. We won't even talk yeah, about fuck him. He doesn't use punctuation. Josh Brolin? No. Cormac McCarthy. <laughs> so they, they have to go into this place that happens to be owned by a mob gang in Northwest America, which is totally believable, to save one guy's house. Foreclosure. Yeah, and they have to really refinance. So they go underground. They find this fucking guy who is... His face is like he got hit with a tennis racket and then it froze. And he's the brother of the mob gang. And they apparently only feed him baby roots or something. <laughs> I don't know. They got him chained up like he's in the hole at Alcatraz. <laughs> and uh, the fat kid falls in love with him. So they have to release him. But he's like a big, like, tarred strength. Like, he's like, his ears he's wiggle. Giant. Yeah. He's giant. He's like six foot. 12, he wears a Superman shirt. But he's like a person. He's not an animal. He's sort of an he's animal. He's kind of an animal. He's like a mutant. He looks, he's a humanoid. And oid. I mean, and, and Fat Boy falls in love with him like a pet. Like, you love a pet. Like, he loves. He or loves a retarded him. brother. He's fat. He's insecure. And he's retarded and oblong. And he's insecure. And the big mutant is always going, chunk. Yeah. It's, it's Chunk. Big chunk people. is the fat kid. The truffle shuffle he kid. He calls him Chunk. You're skipping ahead. <laughs> he calls him Chunk. He calls the other guy some Sloth. Sloth, yeah. Apparently that's his name. Wait, there... What? You can take a question. I don't know. I don't... Okay, so the fat kid wants to free the giant. That's where we are at this giant, point. Giant oblong retard. Whose name is Sloth. Oh, Sloth is the giant. Yeah. And Chunk is the fat Chunk boy. Is the, yeah. Okay. What do you think? Chunk was the skinny kid? Well, obviously. But I know, I thought Sloth, I thought the giant anyway, was giving we're, names to we're the kids. We're on no. such a minor point in the plot. These kids, these kids are trying to search for treasure to save this guy's house. We don't have much time. And we only have like 93 minutes. So... <laughs> Apparently where Sloth is enchained, there's also a secret underground passage under the entire Portland, Washington, whatever town it is where it's raining. And so these guys go, they're like, oh, this must be the way. They're following the map from Mount. 
Mouth is like reading the fucking that, and he's like Chester Copperpot. M- Mouth's one of the kids. Is it the Asian? It's the kid who has the Mexican house nanny. Oh, okay. Who speaks barely any Spanish? I say he's, he's the Cor- rich Chinese. It's Corey he's Feldman. Mexican. He's the Corey who didn't die. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> so he's reading the map because there's like random Spanish words on it, and it's literally just a map of the world. But somehow, it, it makes him into this underground cavern that went under the Fertelli's restaurant or whatever they were doing as a front. And so they're off on their way. It's slick. There's rocks. It's like a really intricate cave. And uh, so they get to points where they need like courage, and somebody's got to be daring. Like Captain Planet. No, not at all. No, no, opposite. Like Star Wars. Yeah. Would have been better. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's like, you know, they need to rope swing. Next thing you know, Mikey's kissing. Oh, that's right. <laughs> there's a girl? I forgot about it. Yeah. These girls get harangued into it somehow. I can't Harang. really remember how. Uh, you got the popular girl, Carrie Green. She's Josh Brolin's girlfriend. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Green, 80s beautiful icon from Lucas. Have you seen Lucas? With the little kid that plays the, football. The red, the redhead girl, amazing. Anyway, was she in any like? Um, well, 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 yeah, it's in, it's inconsequential. She, she is so amazing looking. Whatever she is, 17 to 25 at this point. Red hair, green eyes, or something eyes. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a creep. <laughs> but totally hot for the entire 80s. Lucas, the Goonies, something else. Teen Witch. I mean, no, that was a different girl. Sabrina? No. Clarissa? Uh, it's not important. Okay, you go. <laughs> So she gets. We're going. We're we're hitting seven and a half minutes. She gets ganged up with this guy because they're in the same class. Mikey's older brother, Josh Brolin. I don't even know his name in the movie, but uh, he's like working out to. I'm imagining adult Josh Brolin this whole time. He still looks adult even then. Yeah. Uh, what songs he's working out to? It's like uh, Cindy Lauper. Uh, it's some shit. Girls. She was part of the promo, I'm not even joking. <laughs> so How can he's I doing know? like the, the bands. So he joins them, whatever. Somehow they get involved. So somehow these girls, they got the ugly girl and the super hot girl hanging out with the Goonies. And then Troy and his boys drive by in the convertible because it's raining. <laughs> and uh, yes, I'm rich and successful. Well, my parents are. And They're the kids. No, the they're, not the goons. Uh, they're more goon-ish. They're not goonies. <laughs> they drive up. They criticize them for some reason. So they go down, blah, blah, blah. They're going through the tunnel. It's not the Tatrielli's? No. Okay. What an eruption. I'm trying to follow the story. I just had to go back facts because I forgot about Troy and the fucking gang because this is the most important part. Okay. Is that they're going through the pirate tunnel. Fratellis are chasing them for some reason. It's an old mom. You got the guy from The Sopranos, Tony Spaglier, or whatever his name is, and some real goonish looking 80s guy who's been in a bunch of movies. And so they're going through this underground tunnel to the treasure in Oregon or whatever. And they get to this point where there's a wishing well where people are flicking fucking coins in. And, uh,. The hot girl's in there, and she's afraid that they're underground. She thinks they just went underground for panic, not to search for treasure. So she's still worried. And they get to this point where they still have, it's their last access to humanity. There's Troy's up there, where he's got the letterman jacket, leather sleeves. He's got some buddy with him, I'm sure. And some blonde in the midriff, Haiti style, like a low midriff. Cut. And they're like, let's flick some coins in the fountain, because that's what we do on a Friday night. 
course. While these guys are searching for treasure, but they're nerds. The treasure was actually the pennies in the fountain. No. So she yells up, oh my god, Troy, help me get out of here. Andy, that's, oh, her name's Andy. Redhead? Yeah. And she's wearing a cheerleading outfit the whole movie. I don't even know. She just got a right off practice. I don't know what's going on. But she looks great. So that's, I guess, why. But, so, this is their last chance to get out from the tunnel, get away from the Fratellis. So she screams up, he screams down, and she's like, he lowers the bucket. Because there's a bucket, a wishing well, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and so the line is, it's all going to end. When she's about to get in the bucket, Andy, the hot one, redhead, cheerleader, who's with the Goonies. Not a Goonie yet, but she's with the Goonies. She's like, I'm going to get out of here. Troy's going to raise me up on the bucket. But then they talk her out of it. Because they're like, you're part of the goon squad now. You're oh, a goon. She, cha she changed. Yeah, she changes. She changes not only here, but here. So. But we needed treasure <coughs> and foreclosure to bring that change. Yeah, that's what they thought, the change was in the well, but it's not yet. So, she's about to go up, and everybody says, don't do it, don't do it. He's just an asshole. He just wants you because you're a hot fucking redhead, and he has a convertible, and he probably wants to go back door. say no and then little Mikey with his little braces goes it's all over once you go up Troy's bucket <laughs> <laughs> is that really what he says yeah. is that a pivotal moment yeah that's the joke <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>